Okay, so this is day two of building the airplane propeller, and this is straight out of the glue press. Um, it's been in there for 14 hours, so I take it out, and then the next thing I do is drill the center pilot hole. So this is a Fokker triplane prop with an O290 engine on it, and the, this O290 engine has an SAE 2 volt pattern. So that means my center pilot hole is going to be two and a quarter. So I bolt it down to the end mill to make sure that the hole that I drill is nice and straight. Um, if I mess this part up, the, the whole prop is, is no good. So it's a pretty important part. Um, I'm centering it on a mark that I have already made before I glued it up. And so then I'll just go ahead and drill that all the way through. So then after I drill the center pilot hole, I drill the ends. And these are just attachment points for the lathe. But it's very important that all three of these lines, this tip, the center, and the other tip, all line up into a perfectly straight line. And if they don't, then it's gonna mess up my vertical balance later on in the process. So then I just put it straight into the lathe. This is a tracing lathe. You can see that I have my pattern on top and I have my blank on the bottom. So it's just going to go along and trace that top pattern and make my bottom block look exactly like it. Um, the first thing I do is do a rough cut. So I'll rough cut one side, turn it around, rough cut the other side, and then I'll come back and set the pitch. Um, I set the pitch at the last two thirds of the blade. You'll see where I make that mark later in the video. And then I'll come back and I'll do a final cut on one blade and a final cut on the other blade. So the whole process, it takes about 30, 35 minutes per blade for a prop this size. So this prop is going to be 78 inches. Um, so then I just go ahead and I turn on my blowers and I do a rotation where I just look and make sure that everything is set up and everything, every bolt's tightened that it's all um, the way it should be, just a couple rotations to check it out. And then I'll go ahead and start it and do my rough cut. So you can see that this is the second blade that I'm cutting, and it's a pretty big block, um, but it cuts down to exactly the size that it's supposed to be. And then from here, I just have sanding. Um, after the lathe does its work, it gets it within um, the exact size that all I have to do is um, take all these saw marks out, and then it's ready to go. And this is a second cut. Um, so you can see here, this is where I made my pitch adjustments is right here and where I measured it to make sure I had the exact pitch that um, we needed. And then it's just gonna make its final cut all the way down and it'll be on to sanding. And that'll be it for day two.